Hello everybody, it's Kelly, um, obviously since you're watching my channel. Um, I got my last two friendship envelopes in the mail, and so I'm going to do those up. One's from Melissa LeBeau Westlick, and the other one is from Mary Brewer. Now, I have not opened these yet. Um. Uh, but for those of you who might not know, um, I'm in a group called The Flock. It used to be 70 Acre Studios. And one of our, our monthly things is we make a journal. And it's what we call our Flocker Friendship Journal, our Friendship Flocker Journal, however you want to look at it. And we get partners every month. And we send them goodies and they send us goodies. And then we put it in our friendship book. And I don't know what everybody else's uh, ideas are on it. My understanding was you send them a little, you send them something that tells them something about you, you know, yourself. So like for me, I grew up in Detroit. Uh, my favorite holiday is fall. So I love all the colors surrounding, you know, the fall color palette, the golds, the reds, the browns, the oranges, um, the yellows, you know, those colors. And then on an off note, I like purple. But, uh, you know, so when I send mine, I try to send them something about where I'm from or where I'm living now, something I like, that type of thing. And um, I just took an old composition notebook, painted it, and glued some wall decals on it. And then matte covered it so everything would stay. I just took a piece of scrapbook paper and just covered the inside. I haven't done a title page or nothing like that yet. Um, I haven't felt inspired yet. <laughs> so, but this was my first one from Emily Welda. This was the stuff she sent me. And this one was from Kieran Chesser. Chesser, sorry. This one's from Brenda DiMartino. This layout was from Laura Mc Lori McGarity. And when we send our envelopes, we, we're supposed to decorate them, that type of thing, and then incorporate the envelopes in our uh, in our spread. And like Brenda, she did this whole thing with chickens and little chicken puffs, and it was just beautiful. So and this one was Sean's. And this one was Kathy Volante. And her envelope was covered in this beautiful napkin. And if there's more stuff than I can fit, then I'll just, whoops, I'll paper clip it into the book. Excuse my arm. So that way it stays. Like this is her little note of her likes and her dislikes and things like that. So I will put those in here. So that way I have that. This one was Laura Vasquez. Obviously, she loves the Wizard of Oz. And I ended up skipping a page, I think, because when I did the next set, these Laura's pages were still wet. This one was Tracy Waring's. This one was Gloria Schmidt. Ah, that's where that other one came from. Now, if I can find it, where did it go? One of my paper clips fell out. Ah, there it is. Okay, and I had paper clipped some items that she had sent. You know, like the German village she said was near her. Um, the Pura Vida, Costa Rica. And then her little letter to me about things that she likes and stuff like that. And this one was from my friend Sa Sanana. Sana? Montaila from Finland. And because I ran out of room, I wanted to make sure I got all of her stuff on here. So I did it in a flip style. All the stuff she sent me. And the same with this one. That's her letter that she sent me with some finished pages. And this one was from Mama B. Melissa at at the flock. 
This one was from Eva Gamble. Here's her letter that I put in here. These are some of the items that she sent. And this one is from Lizzie Brewer. And I did another little thingy. But I love the colors in Lizzie's. I hope she likes it. And, okay. So that's all I got so far. And the two I got today, I haven't even opened yet. So we're going to set this aside for just a minute. I don't have a whole lot of room. And we'll see. The first one, we'll open this one from Melissa. Look at her beautiful envelope. She stenciled. I don't care about my address, but I'm going to cover hers. Um, isn't that beautiful with the stamp? And she did both sides. This will make a really nice part of the background. All right, let me get my, my letter opener. Oh, what side do we want to open it on? No, I guess we'll just open it this way. There we go. Let's see what Melissa sent me. Oh, looks like some beautiful goodies. Okay, that's it for the envelope. So what I'm going to do with the envelope, since this way I can use it in the on the spread, is I'm going to open it up like that. There. Okay, I'll set that aside for just a minute some beautiful little graphics some birds and stuff these are really pretty I like these they're really whimsy oh it looks like she stamped them and colored them in those are beautiful feel the thunder from Oklahoma City Ooh, is that, I know, I'm, I should have looked, but, oh yeah, she's from Oklahoma. Okay, I just dropped one, so let me pick it up. Oh no, it didn't fall, that's good. There's another Oklahoma die cut. Oh, how pretty. Greetings from Oklahoma. Nice. Friends, that's sweet. Oh, and some more paper. Oh, wow, I love how this was done. This almost looks like, sh looks like shaving cream art. That's what it smells like. It smells like shaving cream. That's beautiful. My shaving cream art always comes out so faint you can barely see it. So I'm not even sure how, how to make it darker. But she's got hers looking really gorgeously dark. Look at that. This look, this smells like shaving cream. And then this one, that looks like a jelly print. Very, very pretty. It's Kelly, hello. She's been married for 31 years. She has three adult children and two rescue dogs. Aww. Her first love is Toll painting. Thanks for being my partner. Look at the pretty paper. All right, so that's going to go in the spread. Oh, this looks like fabric tape. That's beautiful. And, and you know, I don't even know what this is called. I always call them those dingleberries. <laughs> okay, I know other people use that word for something else, but you know, that's what I always call them. And then we've got some Rick Rack. Ooh, a coffee filter. That looks like shaving cream art. You see the swirls? See how pretty that is? And a napkin. It says brush it off. I love that. Oh, I'm going to have fun with this, Melissa. And a beautiful little paper clip. I like that. Okay, so 
before we open Mary's, let's go ahead and do Melissa's. Sorry if I wiggled the camera. All righty, let's open up a spread. Well, what about that spread that I skipped because it was wet? Let's do that one. There we go. But I need to take that off for a minute, and I'll tuck that in there. So that way... Put the scissors up. Put the letter opener up. The area that you see in the camera frame, that's about the only area I have to craft. <laughs> I'm trying to work out, you know, logistics and, and moving things and reorganizing them and, and things like that. But I haven't quite figured it out yet. So let's put that off to the side. Move that over a little bit. Okay. So let's see how we want to decorate the back. That is so beautiful. Okay, I'm going to take her address off because I want to make sure that is on the top. Um, and the same with the friendship part. I want that to be showcased on the top, so we'll put that aside. And what I will do is I will tear my thing is I like to make sure even if I've got like one piece of paper, if I'm doing a two page spread, I'll make sure a little bit of each color is on both sides. Uh, let me get a, a rag. Yeah, I'm going to have knee surgery here soon, and I was trying to organize my craft room in a way that I'll still be able to craft, but I'll have my, I'll have my leg able to stay up, you know, elevated. Alright, so let's put this here. I'm using Mod Podge, my homemade Mod Podge, uh, which is two parts glue to one part water. You can get a great big gallon of Elmer's glue at Menards or Lowe's or any of your home improvement centers. And I forgot to put... in there. Okay. For about 10 or 12 bucks. Oops, wrong one. I stuck that in water instead of glue. That's just not even funny. All right. And I've had this one gallon that I bought uh, almost two years ago. All I use it strictly for is Mod Podge. And I still have like two thirds of the jug left. So, it's definitely worth it than spending five or six bucks on Mod Podge every other, you know, every other month. And I make my own. So, yeah. There's some recipes out there that say equal parts of glue, equal parts of water. But I, I don't. I use two parts glue to one part water. And it's not an exact science, you know, it's just however you feel you want to put it in there, but that's just the way it works the best for me. And of course you can tailor that to whatever you, whatever you like. I like that. So I'm going to put that right there. And I'm going to tear some of the edges.
Now what I did when I was first getting the journal ready was I went through and I crumbled up a lot of the pages that were in the notebook, okay? And it gave it a more fuller effect. And then I took some alcohol inks and I sprayed the edges different colors. So that way, if by chance, like for right here, I didn't put it all the way to the edge. And I don't a lot of times on purpose. Um, but there's still a little bit of color there. Because the ink has gone, you know, let me see. See how that looks right there? There's ink all over the edges, all different colors. And since that was pretty much the same as this one, minus a little, I'm going to go ahead and put this on this side. I like ripped edges unless I'm trying to make it flush. I'll kind of put that down here. Yeah, I'll do that down here. This is this is what I'm doing. If you're not a member of my Facebook group, we're uh, going to start a new a new challenge, and it's not anything that you even have to mail off to anybody. Okay, there's so many challenges as far as where you know people want you to to mail things to somebody else, and that's beautiful. You know, happy mail is fabulous. Um. And I love sending happy mail. Trust me, I send a lot of happy mail. My dad kind of goes nuts. He's like, why do you spend so much money on postage? It's like, because I like it. But, uh, you know, my challenges in my group are mostly just have to do with um, just giving a post or making a post in the group. Uh, this last one that we just finished, it, it was going from February-ish to now. And it was just today that I ended it. Um, now I want to put some other color in there. Let's throw some pink. Uh, it was... It was, a, it was like a, a daily event, six days a week. It wasn't, you know, you didn't have to do it on Friday or Sundays. But all you had to do was post, you know, do a post. And it worked, it was going really nicely for, you know, several months. And then, of course, after a while, I guess everybody got bored and didn't really want to do it anymore. And, you know, so we had, we had a, a thing where you post, it was like, meet me on Mondays. That was our Monday event and then it was uh, trivia Tuesday what is it Wednesday um, I'm gonna put this one down here I like the pink let's see right there no I think I'll put it right here and then it was throwback Thursday uh, It was show and tell Saturday. I'm honestly right off the bat. I forget what Friday was. Oh my gosh. I'll remember it in a minute. Alright. So where else do we need a little bit more pink? I think I'm going to throw a little bit of pink right here on the side. But I'm going to go ahead and okay, trim the edges down a little. Whoops. All you had to do was make a post. Nothing in particular, just the, obviously the, the theme of the post would be what, whatever day it was. You know, meet me on Monday. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, Trivia Tuesday, if you've got uh, something, you know, that you want to stump everybody with, then there was... Um, See, what is it Wednesday? Uh, same thing. 
you know, you, you find a craft or, you know, uh, an old piece of equipment that used, that was used for textiles or, uh, um, what do you call it? You know, and you didn't figure people would still know what it was, so you'd post it and ask people what is it. And then Throwback Thursday would be, you know, an old whatever, an old craft you did or an old style you liked and you wish would come back, you know, anything from the past. Um, favorite Friday, that's what it was. On Friday you posted your favorite. Could be your favorite drink, your favorite animal, your favorite color, your favorite craft, your favorite music band. It didn't matter. Whatever was your favorite. And uh, usually I plan this out a little better, but I'm just kind of going with the flow right now. Uh, and then Saturday, show and tell, you know, where you can... Uh, brag on your grandkids, brag on your crafts, brag on your animals, brag on your children, just show and tell. And it wasn't mandatory, it was just something to help us get to, get to know you better. That was all. Okay, let's see this one. Let's do the brush it off. I like that. But I believe there are two plies on here, so I'm going to... Well, not so much two plies, but it's thin enough that I believe when I lay this down, the colors will show through. Oh, yeah. All right, this is what I mix my Mod Podge in. It's just one of these big rubber made things you get from Walmart for like three or four bucks or whatever. And it's got a lid for pouring and it's plastic so it doesn't rust. It's easy to clean if it gets all gummed up. And you can pour out as little or as much as you want. And it's easy to store. Don't have to worry about it tipping over, falling, breaking, nothing like that. Okay. Yeah, I like that. How that came out. You see that? And you can see the colors through it. That's fabulous. I love it. Let's put this over here. Let's see. What else do we have? Okay, we've got Feel the Thunder. We'll put Oklahoma right across the bottom. How's that sound? Oh, once we get one of my hairs out of there. Yeah, buddy, we don't want a hair in there. Well, at least it's mine. I hope. <laughs> I didn't see any hairs come out when I unloaded the envelope, so that's a good thing. Oklahoma. I'm going to put a little bit of Oklahoma over here. And I'll cover some of the lines that are still here. This is a bit thicker, so that the Mod Podge just might not hold that. But we'll see. And if it doesn't, I can always grab a staple gun or a stapler rather, or use a little bit of hot glue or even just a paper clip. All right, there. Now I love this paper. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to fold the note up, uh, up to where it says hello. That way, you know, her personal information is somewhat hidden. I mean, to just any casual viewer. So when I like, you know, show my pages off with the next time I do an envelope, then, uh, okay, let's see. Well, it's wanting to stick. I 
Alrighty, let's see what else we have here. I'm going to put that in there for just a minute. Okay. I will probably use that and cover my name because obviously I know who the heck I am. I don't need that in there. But I'll hold off on that for just a minute because I've got these other little bitty pieces to Oh, look how pretty this is. She made her own tape. Alright, so we're going to... Actually, what I'll do is I'll just lay this down right here. And put that right there, and it'll hold that piece down on the bottom. Let's pull this off. I like that. And we'll put this right across the top right here. Ooh, I like that. What do you guys think? Hmm? I think that looks good. I do. I like it. All right. Now we've got that. We've got some of these graphics that we're going to put on here. And some of these I do not think are going to are going to work with the Mod Podge. So I got my glue gun. And I'm going to put this one right there. There we go. Let's see, I've already got black right there, so I believe I want to put, well, that's his friendship right there. Hmm. I'll do it this way. I like that. And when that dries, I'll get all the glue strings off. <laughs> all right. So can you see that right there? How it, how, let's see if I can get the shine off. There we go. Ah, let's see. And we've got another friend one. There we go. We'll just put this right. Ah, we'll just put this right here. I don't know how that'll work, but we'll just throw it there anyway. And that got hot. Okay. Now it just covers my name, or covers my address. Like I said, I don't need to know what my address is. Let's see. Nope. I want that one right there. Yeah. There we go. And then we'll put the purple one. We'll put the purple one right here. Yep, she did color those. That's beautiful. And right next to that one. And we'll do the same with this. I'll put that right there. I'll put these birdies right here. And 
this one we'll put over here. That's what we'll do. Alrighty, and we are almost done. We've got this. Okay, so we've got the Rick Rack. Let's see how will that look across the top? I kind of like that across the top. Gives it a little bit of oomph. But what I want to do is cut it in half so I can use a little bit on both sides. And we'll do the rick rack on this side and the rick rack on this side. That way it just pulls the pages together, I think. All right, so let's. not be completely straight, but hey. I'm glad she sent me things about, you know, where she's from because that's, I like that. All right, so we got the green on there. All we have left is the pink, which I really like this hot pink. So let's let's cut this in half and we do the same thing. But how about we do it along the side? I like that. And uh, we'll make it stick out. Right. Finish the last little bit of this. A little bit right there. Okay, and then we'll do this side. Let's see how far we need to go with this. No, don't do that. Dummy, that hurts. My dad says that all the time. Don't do that. Dummy, that hurts. Well, yeah. And I say no pain, no gain, right? If we all stop doing everything that hurts, I think population would cease to exist because women would refuse to have babies. <laughs> They say that's the worst pain a woman can ever have, or anyone can ever have, is the pain of childbirth, but it's also the quickest to forget. And I have to say, honestly, I disagree with that. The worst pain in the world you could possibly ever have, in my opinion, is a kidney stone. Ooh. Yeah, I would rather give birth to po twin porcupines in a breech position than have another kidney stone. Yeah. Okay, so now we have two more things to add. 
And actually, I don't even have to glue this. I can just put this. I can put this right here with a paper clip. Uh oh. Okay. Uh -huh. Almost glued it to Laura's page. Oh, that's because Laura's page is longer than it should be. That's all right. All right, so we're going to put this here. And that like that. And then we will put Melissa's name. Oh, let's see. Right through there. Or right there. I will do it right there. There. There we go. And we are done with Melissa's. And that did not take long at all. All right. So let's set that down. I will turn this around. Melissa, if you're watching this video, how do you think I did, sweetie? Hold on and let me get a little bit closer. How do you think that came out? Let's see. There we go. I think it came out awesome. Thank you for all the goodies you sent. And that's going to, I'm going to, Pause this for a minute so I can get out the heat gun and dry this so I can go ahead and do Mary Brewer's page next. Okay, so give me just a minute and pretty much by the time you blink, this will start again. <laughs> but for me, it'll be a minute. So I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, I got that dry and I have the book moved off to the side for just a minute. And this is all we have left of Melissa's pages. It's right here. The stuff that she sent. So that's awesome. I got some little pieces I tore off to the side. But those I'm not throwing out because those I'll use in my clusters. So I'll put these in my little scrap bag. And I will set these off to the side. And we will open Mary Brewer's now. Okay, let's see. Oh, she decorated her envelope. So cute. Look at that with the hearts and the butterflies and little sunbursts. Let's see if you can see the sunburst. Yeah. And the beautiful little August girl. All right, so let's get our handy dandy letter opener, which is very sharp, by the way. Okay. And let's see. Oh, she double wrapped it. Look at that. Oh, look at the beautiful little coins. Okay. And the beautiful washi tape that can be reused, which I will put in her page and her spread. Yes, I will. Oh, I like that wide washi tape, too. And she sent enough that I can put on both pages. I like that. Look at that. Okay. Mm, let me put that right there, right on the edge of my glass. All right. Oh, I kind of like that there, too. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at the little hedgehog. Can you see him? Isn't he so cute? Let me get him up there. He is so cute. And there's some little bitty vellum uh, die cuts or punches. Okay, let's see. Oh, she shimmer sprayed some book pages. Look how pretty those are. Look at that. 
I don't know if you can see the shimmer on that. Can you see the shimmer? There you go. Look at the pink on that. See that shimmer? That is beautiful. Oh, look at all the different colors on this one. I love it. Awesome. Stampendous Fluffles. Oh, that's cute. Look at the stamp. And the little couch. Oh, I love it. Oh, and there she is again. Oh, I would love to get my gel pens and just color her. I may do that. <laughs> oh, look at the kitty kitty. And the puppy dog in the house. Oh, look at those. Okay. We got some ribbon. Oh, little mummy with a pumpkin. Halloween's coming up. So I'm going to hold this one off to the side so I can put it in my Halloween journal. Oh, look how beautiful that is. And I love the napkins that have the designs all the way across them instead of uh, just like in one side. Because then you've got four different designs you can use for um, four different projects if you want. That is gorgeous. All right, so, oh, and look at all the goodies. Look at all the goodies. All right, okay, so we will set the Ziploc baggie off to the side for now. Oh, we got some Tim Holtz vintage people. Oh, look at that lace. That is beautiful. Let's see if you can see that. See how pretty that is? And some brown. So I'm thinking, Mary, you really like uh, vintage, don't you? Look at that burlap flower. That is beautiful. Oh, and they call this, oh, it's pom-pom ribbon. Okay, I call it dingleberries. <laughs> but it's so beautiful. It's like a corally orange. That I'm going to put with the Halloween stuff, too. Okay, and look at that green. That is so pretty. It's like a mint green, not a sage or a Kelly green or a grass green or anything like that. That's pretty. I like that shade. A bunch of ooh little vellum uh, punches and the ribbon or the beads to go with. Oh, there's some wooden cutouts. All these punches are made out of vellum or acetate. Look, can you see this? Let me see if you can see this. Can you see the pattern in the vellum? Let's see if you can. If I turn that, you see that there's like little snowflakes in it. That is so pretty. Oh, and a little envelope. Look at that. I wouldn't even know. That is so cool. Check that out. I've never done that before. Let me see how that looks. Oh, that is so fabulous. Look at that. Okay, I lost focus. Focus, focus, focus. And it's still not focusing. Let me move back a little. Will you focus? How do I do that? How do I get it to focus again? Oops. It focused up close. Okay. I'll give it just a minute. But check that out. It's like, uh, I can't tell if that's orange or red with black polka dots. Oh, I love that. That is just so clever. Okay. Oh, and the eyeglasses. Look. And 
and the little sticker corners. Oh, look how pretty. Look at that. This looks like they came out of an ephemera pack and some wood um, die cuts. And keys. Ooh. Oh, and a bunch of little more stamped out items. Your couch or mine. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. I have an idea how I'm going to do her page. Your couch or mine. Look at that. Let's chat. Let's see. Okay. There's a little table. Oh, there's a little ballerina. Check her out. All right. And a bunch of butterflies and some more of these punches. There's a couch. Oh, that's like a little love seat or an overchair. That is so cute. Wow, there's a lot of these vellum punches. Girl, you went to town, didn't you? Young lady holding the American flag. And then these are Christmas ones. It says, we use seal right sanitary service for your protection. Merry Christmas, pasteurized milk. This one is also pasteurized homogenized milk. And then this one is a coin for whipped cream. So I have an idea how I'm going to do this page. Okay, let me see what these are. Oh, look at that. Old report cards. Electric inspection. That's another report card. And then just a note. So let me read her note. Just a note to say hi. Hope you enjoy the goodies. And as always, um, I sent a lot. LOL. Looking forward to my goodies. Happy Crafting Mary. I hope you got yours already. Um, I hadn't heard whether or not you received them. Um, in fact, I don't believe I've heard from anybody. Yes, Lizzie. She got mine. I don't remember if the others have gotten mine yet. So I hope you got mine by now because I sent them out. Oh, gush, 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 gush. Listen to me. Gosh. Um, two weeks ago. So I really hope you guys, you all got mine. Uh, I'm going to put these back in here for now because there's so many of them. Okay. But I know what I'm going to do with them. So I think. I'm going to try it in my brain, and whether it works or not, I don't know. But we'll see. That's the fun with crafting, right? The happy accidents are the best kind. All right. So we'll set those aside for now. And the envelope right there. So let's see how we're going to do this. Oh, all right. Let's see, let me find Tracy's. If I can put yours right here. That off to the side and that. I'm going to put those in there for now. All right, Mary Brewer, here we go. All right, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to cut out one of these um, pinwheel things. All right, 
We will set this aside for the moment and we will pull the ply off. And I'm going to take one of these pages, Drago's War. Cool. All right. And I'm going to tear Ooh, but this, uh, this isn't going anywhere. This is going to go in my, well, it's going in my scrap bag. I'm not throwing it out. Same with these. Okay. There we go. That'll go in my scrap bag. Okay. Oh, I love how it just tears so beautifully. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start out with the book pages. There. All right, and then I'll turn you upside down. And we'll do this one sideways. Okay. And this one, we'll do lopsided this way. Now I want some more color. So I'm going to set this down. And actually, I think I'm going to leave that top part. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so we're going to put these in the scrap bag. This does not look like it's showing everything. There we go. All right, and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to tear pieces of this off. And fill it in with a little bit more color. Actually, the little bit that I'm reading so far looks like a really interesting book. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's put that right here. There we go. I'm going to put this one upside down. Kind of cockeyed. See, do we have, we've got some blue on that side, so let's put a little bit more down here. There we go. Um, I 
Alright, and we will add some, some blue. down. This one we'll put right here. Upside down actually. Oh, huh. well the sticker on this one kind of came off so I'm going to lay that down. Since I'm here. For the sticky part. <laughs> That's why you never trust the sticky on a sticker. to do this right across the bottom. And use that right here. Put it over just a little. We've got a little bit left, so we'll We'll put him right there. All right. I've got some small strands, so fill in a little bit more white. You know, some of the pieces I tore off. So that's okay. Straight across. the bottom. I'm going to throw that right in there in the middle. All right, now that we've got the book pages down, okay, let's put that down there. This is the one that I want to lay right across the top. And since it's so thin, the colors will show through at the same time. There we go. I think that's how I want to do it. The colors of the book pages will show through. So I'm not worried that it looks like it's going to cover everything up because it's not. Well, it isn't. All right. See how the book pages are starting to show through? Well, they may not completely through the red, but that's okay. But the book pages are down there, so that's a good thing, right? Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to let this dry, or actually I'm going to get out the heat gun and work on the drying it, and then we'll be right back, okay guys? Okay, see you in a minute. Alrighty, got that pretty much, we got all the excess liquid from the Mod Podge off. Um, Let's see. Now, what else? How do we want to do this? I was thinking. I kind of like that on the side. So, let's see. Unless. I kind of like that a little bit better. 
Yeah, I do. I like that better. Yeah. Let's take some of this tape. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It grabbed hold of the Mod Podge cup. Almost flipped it over. Let's see how big a piece we need. Okay, about yay big. I'm going to put that right back down on the glass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this down first. Kind of tie all those colors together. And then I'm going to put this on top of it. How does that look, you guys? Think that's okay? I think that'll look just fine. Uh-oh. Okay, what happened? Oh, no. Mm. Looks like my glue gun got unplugged on accident. So we're going to have to wait a minute for that. And in the meantime, I'm put a piece across the top and a piece across the bottom. That's what I like. There we go. There. Snap a piece right across the top. Actually, I should have cut that a little better, but that's okay. And while we're waiting for the glue gun to heat back up again, we'll go ahead and use some Eileen's. Eileen's Tacky Glue. across the top. And I'm going to show you some more. Make sure I've got enough for the bottom. And I do. Alright. There it is. That is so pretty. I wonder if I can get away with putting this on the inside. I believe I can. It's not quite long enough to go all the way, but that way I'm using what she sent me to the best of our ability. I mean, obviously I can't put everything on it. I'll put that right in the middle of that. I think I will. I think I will. And there's her note. So I'm going to actually I'm going to trim this down since it's so big. Trim that there. And I'll trim this I'll give it one, one set of puppy paws. See, right across the top. One set of puppy paws. And then I will fold that up to my name. So that way I can have her note in there as well. And yes, yes indeedy. Okay. really like that hedgehog. I'd like to put this in here too. I'll put that one right in the center there. Oh, let's see. Okay, 
Okay, we've got to your couch or mine. I want to add that in here because I have an idea how I want to do that. Let's see. Okay. Yeah. Your couch or mine. See, that'll be cool. Kind of make it a little vignette, a sitting area. A little bit more. There we go. And we got the couch and the chair. And I figure I'll put that on this side of the note so we can just flip it down. Put that right there. I need to move that up a little. There we go. Okay. I had to move it up a little so that way when I flipped it down, the legs wouldn't get in the way. Put that in just a little. There we go for that. Be in there for just a minute and we will straighten this up. I cannot cut a straight line to save my life. So I am winging this as best I can. Well, it's not too bad, right? And then we'll do it right across the top. It says your couch or mine. Oops. Would help if I took the. Ooh. If I took the cap off the glue, wouldn't it? Okay. So we'll put that right here. And I like that. Your couch or mine, you know, so that way she comes over. We can have coffee, sit and chat in the living room, that type of thing. I did check. Um, but, yeah, so that is going to be awesome, cool. We flip that down. I don't have it glued in there yet, but that's okay. And I, whoop, I did it again. I put the lid on. But that's not a bad thing, you know. Okay, and because the paper is on the thin side, I'm not going to leave it all, the glue, you know, all lumped up. So I'll kind of spread that out a little. There. Got glue on my thinners. For a minute, hopefully, my glue gun has heated up by now. Let's 
some of those off to the side. Actually, that looks kind of cool. Let's see. Nope, it's, well, maybe. Let's, let's give it a whack. Let's give it a try. Yep, it's working. Okay. Move the scissors out of the way. So I don't have a lot of work room. I like that pink behind the behind the cream colored lace. I think that's very pretty. There we go. I don't need this anymore. Put that down. Alrighty. Let's see. See, that's pretty. I wanted to put this one right here first. Right in the center. That burlap flower that is so pretty. And this one right there. Well, I'm going to put those in there or not. Does that match? It can, actually. I think that's what I'm going to do. To lay this right here like this. And I'm going to glue these in loop. That. And that. I do the ribbon. It's not quite long enough for me to make a bow because my fingernails are just too long for me to do that with. So, but I can kind of do something like that if I can keep it there while I glue it. Right, let's see if that works. Ow, ow, ow! I know, I know, don't do that dummy, that hurts. See, all I did was fold each end back over onto itself, so it kind of gave it a little bitty bow. I love this ribbon, this is so pretty. So I'm going to put that right on top, and I'm going to set the bow right on there. What else can we use? Well, I don't know if we need the white bow or not. The white ribbon. 
and I do want to put this little hedgehog guy in here. So I wonder if I could set him on top of the almost wish I had two. That way I could put one on each side. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put him just right there. Right there. And I really want to put something right there. So let me look. Let me see. I want to dig something out that I have. Where did it go? Uh, let's see if there's something in here. These are my little fairy charm jars. And I have four left. So I'm going to make those up and I'll probably put those in my auction or something. Alright, where'd it go? Where'd it go? Oh, that'll work. Right there. Okay, I've got an itty bitty. Actually, this is a hot glue dot that was put, um, that was sprinkled with some, uh, like purple glitter. Isn't that pretty? And I think that would look really nice right there. So I'm going to Put that there and pop that down right there. And now I need to put your name in here. Ah, let's see. Actually, instead of cutting up the envelope, I think I'm going to get a marker. Let's see, what color do we want? Let's do red. Make sure it's not going to damage anything on this side. No, nope, it shouldn't. Okay, and I'm going to put your name right here. Mary. I didn't want to make it too, um, I didn't want the color to be so contrasted that it clashed with everything, but I believe, let's see if there's anything else I can add to this, ah, come on, let go, there we go, oh, oh no, she got glued to the sticker. Let me see. Well, okay. Um, I'd like to put, actually, we can put her right under there. How does that work? That works for me. And there we go. Let's see, how far are we? That's about right. All right. And Mary Brewer, your page is now done, my dear. Uh-oh. Let me pull this off again. Oof. So I can keep that from falling. Stop. Right there. Don't move. Stay. Okay. And we'll cover Tracy so you can get the full the full effect of yours without any distractions. So Mary Brewer, that is your page. I think it came up fabulous. I hope you like it too. I love those colors. And I love that washi tape. Um, and that's my friendship flocker journal for August. I got Eva's and Brenda's and Melissa's, uh, Mary's, 
Eva's, Mary's, Brenda's. Okay. I forgot already. I'm bad, aren't I? Alright, let's see. We had... There's Melissa's. Okay, here's Mary's. There's Santa's. That was from last month, though. This is Eva's. There's Elizabeth Brewer. So that was one. Two. Three. I'm missing one. Where is my other one? Four. There it is. Um, I didn't put the envelope that Brenda sent me in because her and I talked about, you know, just sending... Uh, miscellaneous stuff back and forth because we already we were already partners in May so but yeah so this one was Melissa's that one's Mary's this one's Eva's that one's Elizabeth's all right everybody and on that note I'm going to go. I do want to say thank you for watching and if you liked my video please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe already. I'm almost I'm almost to my 1,000 subbing mark and um, when I reach the 1,000 subbing mark I'm going to do a great big giveaway. So go ahead and subscribe. Watch for my giveaway video. And once I reach that 1,000 subby mark, then, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a good one. Um, but on that note, thank you again. I want everybody to have a wonderful and blessed evening, day, whatever time of the, you know, 24 hour period that you happen to be watching this. Uh, like I said, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you think. Tell me if you liked it, if I could have done something better. Um, or if you thought, if I had a brain cramp and you actually had the right answer. Because <laughs> I'm really bad about words lately. Uh, but other than that, I hope everybody has a blessed day. Alright, see you next time. Bye.